All right, I know a lot of you don't know me for coin magic, but today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do pretty much the only coin trick I will ever perform. So basically, um, all you need are the four aces and four quarters, and you start off by putting an ace on top of each quarter, just like this, so these should be covered up. And then from here, what I'm gonna show you guys is that if you take the cards, I show you just like that, and hopefully what should happen is one, two, three, the quarters should jump over there. Now I'll try to do the same exact thing with this one over here. So let's say we take the quarters, one, two, three, what should happen is there should be a switch. And I'll do the same exact thing with the last one over here. If I snap my fingers, there's not gonna be any quarter over here and we have the last quarter all in one spot. So this is a trick and I um, hope you guys like it and if you want to do it, don't forget to stick on for the tutorial. So as you guys saw, the trick is really visual and it happens really fast. So I'm going to break it down here. Essentially, like I said, all you need are four cards and four quarters or four coins. It doesn't really matter. But what you want to do is set up the four quarters just like this into a corner. And the whole entire uh, trick involves pretty much the way you set it up at the beginning. So you put them, put them into a corner. And what I do is you can show the cards to the spectator and you can, then can grab the cards somewhat like this. So I kind of bend the cards a little bit. I place them in this ridge of my thumb closest to my hand and I put them in this ridge of my middle finger. So they're kind of close to my hand. This way my uh, fingers can kind of grip at the bottom. So essentially what you're doing, you're holding them in this kind of weird grip with uh, in the ridges of your hands. And when you come down to grab, you say you're going to place an ace, all you're doing is peeling off the top card while holding on to the rest of them. But what you're doing is you're actually grabbing that quarter. So I'll do it without the cards. What you're doing is your fingers are pinching that bottom ace, peeling off the cards, and then now you have a quarter in your hand. So I'll do this again. So you have the aces like this. You come down. I'm pinching this quarter with my fingers, sliding off one card, and now there's no quarter down there, but I have the quarter in my hand right here. And you continue sliding off card by card until you get down to the last one. And obviously you're left with another quarter. So make sure that doesn't drop like that, but make sure it drops sort of off to the side. This way the spectator can't hear what's going on. So you leave this here. And like I said, make sure they do not hear a clink on the first drop because if they hear a clink, uh, there really shouldn't be two quarters here to start with. So if they hear that, they're going to be kind of offset. So at this point, what you do is this is your setup. You have your four cards, and that is going to be where all the quarters are. And from here, you make it look like there's only one under each one. So you pick up the first, the top left. You come underneath, pinch a quarter. You pick that up, and then pick this up. So it looks like there's two. So now in your left hand, you have a pinched quarter. You say one, two, three, and all you have to do is drop off this quarter with your left thumb. This quarter gets dropped off. This quarter gets picked up. At the same time, you pick them back up, and that's kind of how the jump happens. So now you have a quarter in your right hand. Now with the empty card that doesn't have any quarter, you leave this face up, and then if you want, you can move this over. You can drop it, and it won't really make too much of a difference if there's clanking already because there's uh, quarters here. But you can move this over, you drop that, and then what you do from here is your hands are free, and then you come back once more, and you come back around, and you slide, and you pick up another quarter with your right hand. So now your right hand's in the top left. You pick both of these up, showing there's two quarters there, but in reality you have a quarter in your right hand, and you do the same exact thing. So you go one, two, and on the third one you just kind of swoop in, and you're dropping this quarter. So the quarter in your right hand gets dropped, and then the quarter in your left hand gets picked up. So you come over, switch it, this one disappears, this card's left empty, and then you can move this card with the quarter right on top over there. And like I said, it won't make too much of a difference if there's clanking just because there's already other quarters there. And then from here, you can snap, do whatever you want, show them that there's no quarter underneath this final ace and then pick up the last one and all the aces have moved over here, or all the quarters I mean. So uh, this is a trick guys, and like I said, it's pretty simple, it requires no gimmicks. 
Um, it's great for beginners just because you can do this right off the bat. You don't need too much to start off. So uh, hopefully this trick works out for you guys. And as always, thanks for watching.